Oh, that is me. Hi, everybody. Um, right, I'm Victoria Hearth. Uh, my area, um, I have a number of areas, but my main area is marketing. So I'm based over in the business school. Um, so I'm going to talk to you really briefly today, and I apologise for such a large, complex topic in five minutes, so I hope I don't completely scramble uh, your brains by doing that, but uh, marketing and sustainability, um, otherwise known as all these other sorts of words, which mean slightly different, and, uh, but almost the same thing. Um, so uh, what you could say is that there are, there are two aspects, key aspects here. Firstly, the history of marketing in terms of sustainability. There's lots of evidence to suggest that marketing has got a very sort of, um, there's a very jaded view, uh, and rightly so, of marketing's role in terms of sustainability. Lots of evidence around its role in reducing well-being, um, spurring large levels of personal debt, um, over exploitation of resources, consumerism and materialism, and promoting unsustainable values, etc., etc. So that's the sort of not just the history. I'd say the current perception of marketing. It is unsustainable as uh, judged. Um, but there is a, a latent potential and an emerging potential around marketing's ability not only to do less of that bad stuff, but to actually become uh, a very positive force for. Um, uh, creating sustainable societies in terms of specifically fulfilling people's primary underlying needs um, and therefore uh, quality of life, well-being, welfare, um, where non-marketized consumption cannot do this so well. Um, so either through innovation efficiency, social transformation, um, the place where marketing can have its role, where business can have its role. Um, and promoting a sustainable society through developing um, certain values in society that are important for sustainability. So marketing has a very important role in shaping our identities, our cultures, our lifestyles. Um, and so how can that be used for sustainability. So you have therefore a term which is emerging as the most sort of commonly used term, although my research shows that this doesn't really mean a lot in a practitioner context, but the term is sustainable marketing. Um, and this is Martin and Shouten's way that I'm unpicking this um, as being made up of two key areas. And the first one is marketing sustainably. Now marketing is not just about promotions. Uh, marketing is about uh, product. Um, and very in integrated, therefore, with the design of product. It's about how products are, the decisions around how they're distributed, where they are made available to people, um, the people who are involved in it, um, uh, physical evidence like packaging and, and, and things that go on around that, um, as, as well as the promotion and the price. So marketing is really, really broad in its sphere. So marketing sustainably, in a way, is the sort of the back end stuff, you could say. You know, how is the process of, of, of creating markets, uh, products, for people that people uh, that, that do something, how do those um, uh, you know? Uh, what do they what do they look like? How, what resources do they use? Um, so all of those big questions, and there's a, that's traditionally where a lot of stuff has been going on. We've got increasing regulation around this er this area, um, increasing work on supply chains, and it overlaps with other areas like supply chain, logistics, and design. However. Um, Another massive area for potential transformation is in marketing sustainability. And this is the concept of sustainability and lifestyles and values around sustainability. So how can marketing um, help to do that or at least help us not to, not to promote unsustainable values and lifestyles? Okay, so um, it basically, however, this is quite an important shift. This marketing sustainability here is much bigger than you might initially believe or think about in terms of a challenge for business. And the reason that that is, is because business has traditionally um, uh, worked on a sense and respond uh, way of looking at things. It comes from the traditional economic view of consumers, and that means you look at what people want and you try and deliver it. That is very, very different from saying, well, ha we want to actually create uh, 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 different preferences. So, 
Theoretically, this is quite difficult for marketing. However, it's always been creating preferences, but it's never formally recognised that in its definition. So this is where my research, I really don't have much time, so I'm going to skip through. Um, so two questions I've been working on are, what are the fundamental basis that we need to change about marketing theoretically and culturally for it to be able to come this force for good? Um, and secondly, what are those the barriers and opportunities in place within businesses as they operate? So two things I've been doing, I've been working with Friends of the Earth, they've got a big ideas project, a number of themes, and I'm working on the theme within consumption around how can we reform marketing for sustainability, so quite a big area. Um, these are some of my um, co-authors, um, including the ex-head of ethics on, at the FSA um, uh, and Jules Peck, who's, who does a lot of work in this area. I've come up with some other conclusions that I cannot talk to you about today. And secondly, I've been working with the BITC um, and interviewed 14 of their participants. These are businesses from IBM to Eurostar to small NGOs, N uh, Eden Project, who are working around sort of making a start in the area of marketing sustainability. And that's all I can say. And uh, if you want to uh, catch me later, uh, that would be great. Thanks.